Hello, it is Friday, which means today is Friday Reflections Day. Last video on Wednesday, I talked about the resurrection and the life of the resurrection being a life of defiance, of resistance. And we can often think of that in terms of large scale uh, movements, uh, especially in our culture today. There's all kinds of large scale movements that try and capture the minds of many people and get big audiences uh, to, to hear the message. Uh, I don't think being a uh, people of the resurrection works that way. I think of a couple stories in the Gospels in particular, of the story of Jesus and Zacchaeus in the Gospel of Luke, and the story of Jesus and the, uh, the woman who had been ill or sick for 12 years in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, where Jesus is going on his way to heal some important person's daughter. And there's a big crowd following Jesus. And Jesus stops for the sake of this one woman who had been sick, who no one else notices. And in those stories, in Zacchaeus's story and in the story of the woman who was sick, uh, the focus of the of the camera lens if you will suddenly zooms in on one life and jesus's complete focus is on one life one person and to those individual lives he gives witness to new life he calls them into his family he calls the woman daughter which probably had never been done for a long time and and eats a meal with Zacchaeus in his home and, and welcomes him into, his, uh, into relationship with Jesus. There's something about uh, Jesus's actions there being actions of resurrection, actions of defiance, of resistance to uh, a world that has thrown these lives aside and uh, treated them uh, disrespectfully maybe. Jesus welcomes these one individuals in each case as family and welcomes them as his and bring, brings into their lives a new life. And I think that's how the gospel works. It's not about numbers. It's about people. It's about being witnesses, uh, being a walking advertisement to the life of Jesus in individual lives that we come across every day. You, my friends, are witnesses to the gospel. You are living lives of defiance that, that speak to the reality of the resurrection in this world. You do that in your life. And you do it by speaking life into individual lives as you encounter them, one person at a time. Everyone we encounter every day is going through something. And the hope that we have to offer is that of resurrection, of the hope of life, that whatever happens in this world is not the final say, and that there is hope beyond it. And we don't ignore difficulty or pain, but we uh, come into the lives of people that we see every day and have the opportunity to call them daughter, to call them son, to let them know that they are part of God's family and to give them hope that there is a God who cares and loves them. Friends, you are uh, evangelists. You are people who speak the gospel. Do that today. Speak a resurrection word into the lives of those around you. Speak a word of defiance, of resistance, in a word of life. Let me end with a prayer today. Lord, may your Holy Spirit dwell within us and among us so that we might remember your hope in this world and to speak the message of your hope to those that we come in contact with today, to witness to your cross and to the empty tomb. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great day and a great weekend as you go on your way. And remember to speak life, to live defiantly, to give uh, uh, hope to those around you one life at a time.